How do you know when you've fully recovered? How do you know you're not going to risk relapse every time you do something? From my own experience, it was trial and error, really. Um, if I think back to the first times I was ready to try and exercise, I would only do small amounts. So, for example, I would walk to my grandma's, which was only five minutes away, and then I would examine over the next two days, how has that made me feel? Exercise is supposed to make you feel better. It's, most, it's supposed to give you energy. It's, you, you're meant to feel good after it. If you're feeling worse after exercise, it means you probably need to take a step back. So I'd do those five minute walks initially. And if I would have a, say, a walk and then a couple of days examining how I felt, then walk again, then just have one rest day and see how I felt, I'd slowly up the walking. And obviously at the time I had a dog. So I was able to start taking him out for walks again. And I'd go around the block examine how I felt over the next day or two, go round the block again, and slowly but surely, I just my radius for the walking just got more and more. And when I was, to say, taking him a walk for 45 minutes, that's when I started introducing weightlifting uh, with, you know, light weights, but starting that, seeing how I felt, it was just trial and error. And at some point, when I was easily taking the dog an hour, hour and a half walks, incorporating weight training, that's when I started to kind of push it a bit more. I felt like the relapsing really only happened in the earlier stages of recovery. So when you have that complete exhaustion and exercise is making you feel absolutely awful, that's when the risk was at its highest. However, when I was, you know, feeling quite good after, say, a one-hour walk or 45-minute walk, the risk of relapse really deteriorated massively. When I really got into cycling, for example, after about six months, I went on a, what was it, about 200 miles over a two-day trip. And, you know, after that 200 miles, I was pretty, pretty exhausted, but I felt good. So I knew at that point that recovery had completely a uh, completely taken place you know I felt tired any normal person will feel tired after doing 200 miles in two days you know and I I didn't really train for it per se that kind of mileage uh, at most I did hour and a half bike rides but I really wanted to have a go at it but uh yeah I think my advice to that is in the early stages really reserve energy more than anything Leave your iPod charged overnight. <laughs> Don't try too much too soon. And after you've had a comfortable six months of doing the little bits that you're doing, whether it's small walks or incorporating some strength training and stretching, after that period where you're not feeling worse after exercise and you've done it for three or six months, then you can start to worry less. That would be my opinion to that question.